<laughs> Welcome to another week in the life of the Cartwrights. Welcome to Cahill's Crossing. Welcome to West Arnhem Land. Welcome to the Cartwrights. We're a family of five traveling to the most remote places our beautiful country has to offer in our home on wheels. It's not just any home though. In our humble little opinion, we think it's the coolest house in Australia. You know why? Because we go anywhere in this thing, whether it be the beach or the bush, the outback, the desert, or even the mountaintops. Anywhere we go, you just know you're gonna find us somewhere in the thick of it. Our dream since the day my husband and I met has been to touch all corners of this land. And now, to be able to share it with our children makes us pinch ourselves every bloody day. How else do we put it? We love our life and we truly believe we're the luckiest and happiest people on the planet. Sharing this dream of ours, we really wouldn't have thought that so many would be interested. But the support from our community has now prompted us to share more. So, as promised, here's our life. Buckle up and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Welcome to another week in the life of the Cartwrights. Welcome to Cahill's Crossing. Welcome to West Arnhem Land. You right to cross a croc infested river? Are you sending me across there, walking? Yeah, can you go over the other side and film? No. <laughs> <laughs> so to get into West Arnhem Land, where we're heading, we're heading right up north to the top there to a place called Smith's Point. But to get, to get there, you've got to cross this, cross a croc infested river called Cahill's Crossing. Basically, you see fishermen here all the time, just flicking lures and crocs sitting on the crossing next to them. Just walk down there and have a look. There's no crocs yet, but uh, <laughs> one can only hope. Righto, get in the truck, let's go. Ready? Yes. Wow, Baba. you see any crocodiles yet? Yeah, no, I okay. can't see any. How's that? Renowned for crocodiles and not a single bloody crocodile. No, not one There's a Tonka toy that's been stuck there. <laughs> ready? Ready? Yeah, the water's really green. Yeah, it's cool, right? No, no crocs. That's Cahill's Crossing, everyone. Uh -huh. We did it. Well, I was expecting more crocodiles. I've seen one at the end. You want to get a fish now? Uh -huh. Well, as Ellis was so We're not getting in the fish. perfectly put back there, also I've got a bad neck to this. I did a workout for the first time in about six months and I can't turn. Anyway, as Ellis just put so perfectly, we're heading out to get a fish. We're uh, heading out to West Arnhem Land. We're gonna stay out here for a good week, two weeks maybe, I'm not quite sure. Permit, we've got a permit for a week and then we've gotta be over at East Arnhem Land, but I'll see what I can do about extending it. We're cruising and it's bloody hot. What Already, isn't it? What was the temperature yesterday, 35? 30, 34, I think it got yesterday. But it's like 70, 80% humidity, so. And oh. it's, what, nine o'clock in the morning and it's already it's, bloody 30 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, it's so hot our solar panels are like <laughs> operating at like 70%. So like this, you think it's kind of, kind of what you think, but when the solar panels get hot, they stop operating at a decent, or at their maximum capacity really. That's K Hills Crossing. Now we've got a bumpy ride by the look of things. Yeah. Out to West Arnhem Land, out to uh, Smith Point campground. I think it's Smith Point. Don't Over at me. Smith Point. I booked it about two months ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. I've got it in the sat nav, so hopefully that works. See you there. See you there, guys. I reckon, babe, we're going to have to let our tyres down in a second. It's getting awfully rough. Oh, yeah. I broke my deflator. I crushed it, so I'm just going to let the tyres down with, uh, with the compressor.
It's so hot here that like the smallest thing would trigger a grass fire. Like. Look at that back there, babe. Can you get that? Everywhere we go, the place is burning down. We currently are so bloody remote. So East Arnhem Land, you've got like Nullumboy and townships out and around that area. But West Arnhem Land, especially up to the point where we're going, until you get to the point, there's uh, even at the point, there's just nothing. There's nothing compared to what's out at East Arnhem Land. Currently, if something was to go wrong, God forbid, it's e time. We're stocked, we're chock full of water, as much water as we can carry. We've got, our freezers are overflowing. Enough supplies to last us a month out here, really. Let's get there safe. I'm bloody excited. It's gonna be one hell of a couple of weeks. How does one sleep when it's this bumpy? left. It's a long way. Buggy dog. Crocodile crossing, that's a worry. He says there's a like what, 4.5 meter croc that just crosses every day? Yeah, we got a, we just spoke to the ranger for about 45 minutes actually and he was just telling us all about the area. And he says there is a four and a half meter crocodile that crosses up here every day. And he's got three wives. Yeah, three three wives. And I was very jealous instantly. You do not want three wives. Surely one wife is hard enough. Well, one pregnant wife is definitely hard <laughs> Oops, get skinny. Get skinny, Bob. Oh, we made it. Look how close we are to the tree, Ellis. Wow. Is there a caravan in there? There are caravans on the back. After we navigate this uh, ridiculously <laughs> narrow track and find a campsite, yeah, the kids have been in the car for five hours. We'll show you around a bit because this place is bloody incredible. The problem is everything's so narrow. And there's old mate's house. There's the crocodile's house in there. Welcome to camp. Mum's assessing the, the river back there. You don't like it, huh? Yeah, it's okay. I'm just worried because we've got the baby, but that's okay. Whatever. So there's a river just down here. It's about 50 meters away from camp. You might be able to see it through the bush down in here. Okay. So dark and less, maybe it's 40. Look at this again, a black crush pad bag. Ready, Ellis? Do you want to hit it? Quick, hit it, go. Do the honors. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How's your face? How's your face, Still all on there, isn't it? And we got our own shade sail. She was very dusty on the way in. Very, very dusty. Look at the wheels. It's mad out here. Absolute mad. It's as wild as it gets. Like literally like wild, wild, wild. I'm going to set up camp. I'm going to get the boat off ready, uh, ready to go out fishing first thing in the morning. And then uh, I think I might hit the hay because that was. I'll get your bike off because it was a six hour drive in and I'm knackered. This is our first thing that we have to do every time we pull up. Even just, before we pull Before we set up, before we unhitch, before anything. What is it though? What's it called? Boom You tell them, Ellis, then. You tell them. My boom boom bike. Boom. Tell it to the people at home. My boom boom bike. My boom boom bike. Your boom My boom boom bike. Thank you, Dad. Go, okay, Baba. Eight, 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 eight,
Yeah, so funny. Oh, monkey see, monkey do. Keep over climbing! <laughs> Oh, good jump, mate. Righto, so camp's all set up, so nice and squeaky, nice and clean. Just put, Evie's cooking some sausages. If you used to have sausages, I'm having a good, good thick steak for dinner. So I'll get these going while I'm getting the boat off, I reckon. I'll set the boat up and uh, the charcoals can heat themselves up. Stand back, stand back, Cobber. Oh no. Fire. Now to get the boat off. Hopefully they're nice and hot by the time I uh, get it off. So then I'll cook some steak. Mm. So we keep our boat trailer on the back of the caravan. You gotta love Australia. Dust everywhere, always. If you're cooking steak with gas, you're ruining it. <laughs> Ooh la la. So I've got a thermometer in the back and that pretty much set when that thermometer, the internal temperature of the steak hits 52, it'll beep at me and I'll sear it and then pull it off. And I'll have a rare steak. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no show, boy. One time. Not hungry tonight, Dad. How good that is. You're up, Yes. Second one. Eight. Second. Oh, so good. Good eye. So I eat. Look at this right there. That's gonna make it itch. <laughs> 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 Talk to me. Morning. Been looking forward to this for a while now. <laughs> Boats in the water. It's been a while. Coming up the middle, there wasn't much water. I'm bloody excited. I heard the fishing's good up here. Let's see how we go. Evie finishes homeschooling. She's got a Zoom call for it with her mass tutor. She finishes at eight. I'll go pick her up and I'll bring her out too. And then quite possibly I'll have a shave. Jesus Christ. The idea is to be homeless, not look homeless. Seas on the water. Also, if you see any crocs while I'm launching the boat, just shed out, would you? Apparently they spotted a five meter here the other day. Which I would rather not get it by. That would be rather unpleasant. You just have to take my word for it. Let's go catch it. Hey, there looks to be massive Mackies. Oh, as soon as I turn the camera around, there's massive Mackies in the water. Their fins are like, I've never seen that before. They're like cruising around like sharks. Oh, and look at this, sun's coming up over Arnhem Land. Oh, bloody hell, welcome to heaven, eh? The sunrise is going to have to wait, eh? There's actually Mackies busting up all around me. I just got in the water. I'm literally, look, there's the boat ramp. I'm just going to drift over this patch. And I don't know if you can see in the water, but see those door, those fins? I think they're their tail fins. They're flapping their tail fins up. 
It's one that just splashed here. There's a tail fin just there. It's just that they're not interested in my popper, I don't think. I really hope that shows up on the camera. I really, 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 really hope. Because that's not. I'm going to um, put a big, big paddle tail on, I reckon, because they're not really enjoying the popper. They're like half striking it. But that popper is like my lucky charm. Paddle tail it is, I reckon. I've made the decision, I've made the call. I reckon I should anchor up, hey, instead of trying to drift over it. I'll anchor up. Paddle tail. I'm going to get Evie. I'm over it. I can literally see them still just swimming around with their freaking fins out of the water and they're not here by the way. Last time I was in this spot, I had two stonkers within 20 minutes. They mustn't be very hungry this morning, I reckon. Maybe Evie will have a little luck. Here she is. Hello, I finished school. You finished school? Finished. Did you learn anything? No, let's learn how to catch a fish. I'm gonna have to use my muscles here because the boat's bogged. I can get anything bogged. The boat, the truck, I'm talented. That was a Tyrannosaurus Rex, that wasn't a crocodile. I don't know if you can see all them, but I don't think they're mackerel. But they're refusing to touch anything we flick at, flatly refusing. It's almost like they've got a higher IQ than me, and they know what I'm up to. Do you know what? It's definitely they have a higher IQ than me. What do you reckon? What are we putting money on? Please be um, Mackie. Mum will love me if I get her a Mackie. I don't know, but I'm going to take one in my line. I'm oh, not. Unless you've got fish. A little, bit of, oh, a little bit of bite. I can't even see it. It's a little Mackie. <laughs> it's a little Mackie. <laughs> Reel it in. Can you lift the thing up? Sure, I'd be dreaming. Need help? Come here, Mackie, 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 Mackie. Return of the Mac. A fouled hook him, hooked him, <laughs> and got him. Are we keeping him or are we throwing him back, Evie? I have to keep him because this might be the end of my Huh? Little face now. <laughs> 60, 59 centimetre mahi. He's only little. He's only a bubba. Join it. Okay. Oh, just get eaten by a croc. I guess I'd rather be here and not catch fish than somewhere else and not catch fish. We got a little Mackie, but we'll just keep flicking until the sun goes down and then conveniently time our arrival at home for when the babies are in bed. <laughs> oh, I've been thinking about it all day. That is bloody cool. Evie, you gotta get one on the board. They're all around us, they're everywhere. They're doing like circles of one. Whoa, one just busted up right in front of the boat. <laughs> How are we not catching anything? This is a joke. 
I love Arnhem Land, but seriously, I think these fish are smarter than me, which isn't hard. <laughs> Definitely not bloody hard, because they're literally bloody everywhere. We've flicked everything we have at them. We've flicked plastics, we've fit, flicked bait, we've flicked lures, we've flicked poppers. We've flicked everything at them, and not interested in anything that we're doing. If only I could get in with a spear gun, that'd teach them. It's not cheating. That's how I've caught all our fish ever. <laughs> I'll get eaten by a croc, I reckon, especially after we've seen that stonker this morning. We're gonna keep flicking till that big bad boy goes down, and then we're gonna rest up and... What do you reckon, we go for a full drive adventure in the morning, Evie? Sounds good, eh? Go bush bashing in the truck, get some more pinstripes. Let me try and catch something else. You're wasting my time. Huh? Do you wanna reel him in? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you reel him in, but like, if you lose him, I swear to God, I'm selling you. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry in advance. I'll get, I'll right up. Give me that bad boy. He's big too, Don't so. Don't even jump into the water. Don't fall in the water. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the waiting game has paid off. Get him in here, Nat. Get him into this net. This is fully tightened, almost. Yeah, don't, don't go too crazy because you want him to be able to bring him over here. Oh my. He's a big boy, big girl, big girly boy. I don't know what it is yet. Really, man? Keep, keep coming up. Get him over here. Where's it oh, it's too big for the net. It's too big for the blocking net. <laughs> no, he hasn't fit in the net. We're just going to have to bail him up in here. No! <laughs> we got off. <laughs> Surprise! I bet you didn't expect to see me, my face on the screen right now. What up? <laughs> I know you just wanted to see that fish that Dad caught that they didn't catch. They lost it. Uh, look, part and parcel that goes with this YouTube thing is sometimes things go wrong. And unfortunately, we <laughs> broke one of our external hard drives and lost a bunch of our footage. We've managed to save a bit of it and we're making do with what we can to get this episode finished, but we just couldn't finish the very end of this episode. And yes, you lost Dad, conveniently, lost Dad losing that fish. <laughs> but he assures me it was a three meter Spanish mackerel. So anyway, look, we've done what we can. We're gonna finish this episode off with taking you guys out to West Arnhem Land. So from there, we should be pretty good. We've made it all work, but yeah, we lost a bunch and some pretty cool stuff, some drone stuff in that episode, but hope you can understand. We're trying and uh, enjoy West Arnhem Land. Yep. You should have seen the size of my fish. It was like, <laughs> it was at least this big, man. Like, Don't worry, huge. I told him. Like, massive. But you didn't get it in the boat, Dad. No, so I did, count. I did. <laughs> doesn't count. But look, we're not, we're not unhappy yeah. about it. We are here on this tropical island, <laughs> living, whatever. We're still managing to get you guys this episode somehow. So, <laughs> thanks guys, enjoy. Good morning from East Arnhem Land. This place is bloody amazing, bloody amazing. So what we've done, we're on the East Arnhem Highway, one of the highways, which isn't really a highway, it's just a really crappy dirt road, out to uh, Nullumboy. And mate, we've found this cracking spot. By the way, I'm being quiet, because it's quite early. The sun's just come up and there's people around us, but have a look at this place. So here's the caravan. She's backed up onto this lagoon, this billabong. You won't be able to see this from here, but that's crystal clear. I'll show you in a minute, actually. I'll show you in a minute, you'll see. It's a little bit exciting this morning, because, uh, so we pulled in yesterday afternoon after a long drive out here. The owners told us there's a, quite a cracking spot. 150 meter walk that way. But here is everyone, everyone's up early, look. Hey, 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 hey. Mum's morning sick. <sighs> I'm so bloody sick. I'm every day, all day sick. She's been doing well. It's been a battle, hasn't it? Yeah. Poor mum. <laughs> what about the boys? Have you been you've been looking after her, haven't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes or no? Which one is it? <laughs> I need Me. help. I can't get the cheese off. Oh god. <coughs> Wait, where are we going this morning? Back here. We're going for a swim. Yeah. We're going for a swim. Yeah. Do you want a coffee? No, thank you. you really feel that, that bad. What I was talking about the other time, that coffee oh, version, that's it. Yeah. That's I it. Had coffee when coffee I go like in the bathroom, then I'm I tell you what. Having kids and being morning sick is bloody hard because <laughs> they don't stop and you just want to stop. What time was Walter up this morning? I don't know. Because I was. He yeah, was up at ten to six. Any cute? We'll take you for a stroll. And we'll show you what uh, what we've been cracking on about with this swim because it's, uh, it's a sight to behold, apparently. According to the owner, it's Matarenka without the tourists. 
We'll see. Let's go. They are excited, eh? Hey? Are you excited, Mum? Yeah, can I walk like this? <laughs> Is that acceptable? God help us. <laughs> Mum wants to walk like that the whole way down there. I know what you're going to look like when you're an old lady now. What, because she's hunched or because her face looks like that? Because <laughs> I look like no, an old lady. I'm going to jump off the rocks. Yeah, yeah you ain't. <laughs> you come in the water again? Yeah, you're calling it a pool. Nearly there, Mum. <laughs> you're nearly there. Uh, she's battling. Where's Ellis? Have we lost a kid? Oi, I forgot to give you his heads up. There's a um, wall, apparently. There's yeah. freshwater crocodiles in here. Oh, here? Yeah. I mean, yeah. What was that? Great. I, I'd been wanting to see a freshwater croc. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can see one. I'll probably come back with one less leg, but that's okay. He's yeah. all coming down. Yeah. We're nearly here. Here it is, guys. Greeny clear. There's a stream running over there. There's like a current. Whoa, I can see you all the way to the bottom. Holy, holy. I reckon it's cold. I reckon it'll be nice. I reckon I can do a flip off that rock. I'm not doing a flip, I'll jump off it there. Nick ball. Can it ball? Wilder. You come here with me, please. Hold my hand while Daddy jumps in. Yeah, he's too little. Dad, jump in. Dad's gonna jump in. Why are you so heavy, dude? Because. Because. <laughs> climb the ladder. No. Climb the ladder. I can't, I can't climb that. Yeah, grab my head. <laughs> you can. I'm standing on a rock. Far as morning swims go. Dad. Right, that one out of ten. Ten. Dad. Like a 10. So easily 10. It fully was a 10, wasn't it? It was crystal clear, it wasn't even that cold. Yeah. There were well, rocks to jump off. It was not as clear as the owner made out, but it was really nice. Anyway, now for a six hour drive. Black on corrugations. <laughs> Oh yeah, future home in that same <laughs> style, <laughs> tile. Can't get it up. I don't know, I got some out, but I think I probably bashed some in there as well. I don't know. Patch, I think. Hmm, no I only took one patch too. I hope I can get someone in town to fix up because they're expensive bloody tires. I've only got about an hour and a half in town. Hopefully someone can fix it. If not, I'll have to wait till we get back to Darwin, which is a long, bloody way away. Fingers crossed. I really don't want to change the tire. Although it probably wouldn't take that long, actually. 
got a little bit of ways. I don't know, I've probably got a 200k into Nullumboy. She'll hold, she'll be right. It's gonna take more than a tire puncture to stop us. Bloody tiles, what's their tiles doing out here? Time. We stocked we stocked up on some jerry so we didn't have to uh, buy fuel in community because it's like double price. Finally made it to our destination in Nullumboy. Can't wait to get stuck into some fishing, island hopping and relaxing. But for now, we've got to get some rest, so that's it for this week and we'll see you next week. Well, I don't think I can think of many places that I would rather not catch fish. What do you reckon, Amy? What? <laughs> is there another place on Earth? Well, do you think there's a... I mean, like, is there a better place on Earth you'd rather... Is there a place you'd rather be than not? Is there a place that you would rather be and not catch fish? Like it's a pretty beautiful place, you know? Yeah. Good morning. <coughs> <laughs> I'm looking into the sun. <laughs>